have you ever heard about a person who fought a war with unseen enemy and saved human kind or man kind he is another than louis pasteur who fought with unseen enemy means bacteria virus and conquered the disease or won the death such a great man he is he is the first inventor of vaccine so to know more about him let us dive in deep early life and inspiration of louis pasteur napoleon decorated a brave tanner for his valor after 7 years during the war of waterloo louis pasteur was born in 1822 in delo in france he was destined to fight a disease a greater war without weapons of course he was not a soldier but he is the man who fought with invisible enemies from the beginning he was very much interested in science he studied very hard then he became a chemistry professor in strasburg then lille his entire life with his life partner dedicated for fighting the diseases that is microorganisms bacteria and virus discovery of germs louis pasteur was fascinated about a microscopic level organisms which causes disease lily was a brewing town brewing town means they used to make liquors beverages brew means beverage or a liquor he started studying about the yeast yeast is made up of small microorganisms he had uh, some fascinating questions why milk turns sour why wine fragment and why meat decay he started studying about this by in his research he found out that it is all happening because of yeast yeast is a microorganism made up of small uh, tiny cells called as microorganisms when yeast is healthy the milk or meat or wine is to be in a good condition when yeast get diseased the milk is to taste sour the wine is fragmented and uh, meat gets decayed so it was the beginning of a new field of science microbiology a life of tiny microorganisms which are not visible to our naked eye proving germs theory from decades the scientists or the people who are in the field of science they believed that germs can generate or regenerate themselves but louis pasteur disagreed with this he did lot of experiment on that and proved that only germs can be produced by germs itself he took a glass bottles then he poured soup into that then he bent the mouth of the bottle in the form of s and shield it the soup never turned into sour for months again when he opened the mouth immediately the soup interacted with the air and germs and it become sour by this invention he proved that germs won't generate themselves or reproduce themselves but germs can be produced by the germs this myth of regeneration by themselves disproved by louis pasteur air contains germs and dust this was also proved by louis pasteur he opened some of the 
soup or wine bottles in the dirty bedroom immediately they turn to sour or the meat decayed but when you took the bottles which were sealed on the top of the mountain the soup did not turn into sour because on the top of the mountain air was pure with free of dust and germs whereas in the bedroom or in the market when he opened these jars they turned into sour by this he proved that air contains air what we breathe contains germs and dust in france the wine producers faced a problem their wine used to become sour after some time louis pasteur did lot of research on that and found out that wine and milk if you boil it up to 60 degrees celsius the germs will die and milk and wine will not become sour this process is called as pasteurization in france many cattle used to die because of a dangerous disease called as anthrax louis pasteur studied a lot and he wanted to do a public experiment he took 40 cows 20 and 20 into two groups he injected weak anthrax germs into 20 cows whereas other 20 cows were left without vaccination after some time the vaccinated cows were healthy whereas the cows which did not get vaccination they died because of anthrax disease in this way he proved that vaccination can be done and the diseases can be cured by injecting a weak germs of same kind which causes disease victory over rabies in 1885 a mother brought her child to louis pasteur because that boy was bitten by dog she said that if you can cure animals you can cure my son too so louis pasteur took a weak rabies germs and injected those germs into that boy miraculously the boy recovered this is the invention of vaccine so he invented a vaccine for anthrax testing animals and a rabies vaccine testing it on a boy at the age of 75 louis pasteur was honored by french government like a national hero he got many awards and rewards saved them from microorganisms he is a hero who saved the world from unseen microorganisms thank you for patient watching if you are new to this channel please like share and subscribe and do comment